And my neighbors have definitely seen me naked, and I am embracing that. Yuri, what's this? Do you want the stick? Okay. You know, I've given myself like the next while to just follow my pings and see where it leads me. Maybe into a new occupation or a new group or a new city. My elk burger with chanterelle mushrooms and microgreens. pyramid breath work and then adding that to a meditation immediately after and some dance and I just I literally intended to see a bird on my bird feeder I'm like bring the bird I intend for the birds to come and enjoy the bird feed and after my meditation there's a little black bird that was on the bird feeder it was so cute and then I'm gonna finish writing my journal um, if you guys are thinking of needing some journal prompts, I always do three things I appreciate, three ways I'd make today great, and three affirmations if you need extra prompts. I felt so intuitive lately too, guys. Like, I think there's something really happening on the planet and people are being able to connect to that inner voice inside of them. And it just, it starts out, like we always have had it, um, and sometimes it really needs to kick us by getting us sick or getting us fired or whatever it is into more alignment. But I've really been learning just to listen to like the subtle, like whispers is the wrong word, like the su subtle pulls and honoring that. And honestly, they've just led me into like such miracle moments. Like having my cousin, we were in this really long line at the ski hill and my cousin was our single. And I only have two cousins. Like, it's just, the odds of that are so low. And then the next day when I had the ping to go out and go for the polar dip and the polar dip club was there at the exact same time. And they showed me what to do. And like, I don't know if I would have actually gone in without them. Like having that extra confidence really helped. Yesterday when I was shoveling my driveway, having the bobcat drive by and me, I waved and I winked at him. I pointed at my driveway and he was like, go, like fl flew past me with the city to go do something. But down the road, a car was stuck and then it parked on the road and they couldn't get past. So he had to park back his semi up and he parked next to my house. And I was like, if you're gonna be parking there with your Bobcat, like, do you mind doing like a couple passes? Like you can unload it here. I don't mind if you park in front of my house. And he did and it was, and then he did my driveway. I got home and my driveway was done. And I was just like, what the heck, universe? Like, I haven't really done a driveway in eight years. And then it's like, Kristen, you still don't need to do the full driveway. Here is some help. Oh, I feel so supported by the universe. And I've just been loving being in my house and being naked and spending time with my animals, drinking my teas. I'm just in a really great state right now. And yeah, I just want to be naked all the time. And it is pretty cold outside. So I keep my house really warm. <laughs> and my neighbors have definitely seen me naked and I am embracing that. I actually have a question. I don't know if anyone knows this, but like when you're like naked in your house, like what are the rules around it? Like, are you like allowed to be naked in your house all the time? I'm not sure. Like, am I going to get like a, a little letter from the city or like you're naked too much? and your neighbors don't like it. Like, <laughs> what are the rules on this? Okay, I'm gonna finish writing my journal.
<laughs> She's in up to her shoulders going to the bathroom. Oh my God. For breakfast today, I'm having two fried eggs, some sauerkraut and anchovies. I have no idea if this is good for me, but this is what my body's asking for today and most days. So mm, yum, yum, yum. This might sound weird, but I've been really enjoying sitting on the floor when I eat. I don't know, it just feels feels good to just sit comfortably on the floor. I like it. Yuri. I think Yuri wants some of my egg. Mmm, turmeric eggs. You know, I've given myself like the next while. I've got enough money, I've got time to just follow my pings and see where it leads me. Maybe into a new occupation or a new group or a new city. We're just staying in flow and seeing what comes up for us. I've been trying to bring a lot more presence to my eating lately, so not distracting myself with music or TV and just thanking the food, thanking the farmers, thanking the earth, thanking the people who ship the food before I eat. Like it doesn't have to be a prayer to God, it can just be gratitude for um, abundance. That has been really making me enjoy eating more. I don't know why, it just like it brings so much, it's like a meditation for me now. And then when I'm eating, I'm also just like focusing that all the nutrients get absorbed to their fullest capacity and go to my body where I need them. A little quill came and visited my doorstep. I had such a great morning, got a bunch of things done, and cuddled with Yuri and Pita, and I had a nap. I was listening to like a really relaxing YouTube video, and it just like put me to sleep. And I had Pita curled up here and then Yuri curled up between my legs. So I was like, is this heaven? Is this my bliss? I've just been like really focused on keeping both my nervous systems like or sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system like as calm and relaxed as I possibly can. I feel like this is just like a time to heal and charge and yeah. You guys watched my vlogmas. You probably saw that I was pretty obsessed with teas. I went to the store yesterday and bought a bunch more. So I'm gonna make a marshmallow root butterfly pea tea combo. Actually, I saw a cool thing. Let's make a blue matcha latte. Can I have matcha? 3 p.m. We add some boiling water. I also added a little bit of Tulsi. We're gonna just let that sit. Okay, I've added some butterfly peas. to some hot water. Can you see how blue this is getting? Oh! Okay, milk is boiled. We're gonna add the blue. And milk. Well, it's definitely blue. I'm no latte artist, but look at this. That's better. Look at that blue. Yum. Ah, it's freezing. Today it went below zero again. I was living real nice, real good, but I came out to my favorite walk spot along the water. I just think this is probably one of my favorite places in Kelowna to walk. It's just got this nice path next to the lake. I'm listening to a podcast and it's just beautiful. I had such a cool moment today. Did my breath work and my meditation. And I had this dream last night. Actually, it wasn't a dream. It was before I fell asleep. I did a meditation and I was kind of picked up out of my meditation and brought to this table. 
and what it what it was explained to me as is it was like God's <laughs> stay with me God's dining table and it was surrounded by so many people all people were at it who let themselves be at it and we are all just feasting and enjoying and celebrating and it was just this reminder that we all eat from God's table and God's table is infinite and there is so much food to go around. There is no shortage. There's no scarcity. There's no limit. And uh, any moment that we live or experience life that tells us otherwise is not in love and not in truth. So it was just this reminder to just feast at God's table and just feel the celebration of it. That was really nice. And then I, as soon as I got out of my um, meditation and I looked out my window today, there was a bald eagle that was flying and it had a fish in its freaking claws, a big fish, and it was flying with it. I like rarely see the fish. Um, like you gotta be like close to the lake for that. So. Yeah, it was a bald eagle with his fish in his claws flying out over to eat it somewhere. And it was just like such a nice tie-in of this, like just take and enjoy. Um, and, when you, and when you take, you're taking in intention, you know, and you're taking with love. And yeah, it was just, it was just such a good moment. I thought I would share. But I'm out here with Yuri. She wants to go back to the car or not stop at this cute spot I just stopped at. Look at these steps. Wow, so nice out here. So they also have this dog beach here you can come out to. It's not very big and the dogs sometimes go outside <laughs> of it, but I'm going to throw some sticks for Yuri. Yuri, come! Okay, how do I throw at the same time? Yuri, what's this? Do you want the stick? Okay, can you sit? Sit, she hates sitting in the cold. Sit. Okay, that's kind of a sit. Okay. Yeah, good girl. Yeah, okay. Where's the stick? What about the stick? Watching a video on how to make better water systems and housing. Um, it's a house in Mexico that's totally off the water grid and all the different systems they have to gather rainwater and filter it and they use it for their pool and I just am really interested in building and better systems. Uh, not so much just like off-grid systems, but just how do we work with the land where the homes are so you're not putting a stress outside of it, especially if things um, happen and things aren't always working and functioning properly. I'm also making... Um, uppers. I've never made them before. I and I should have probably ground the onions more, but uh, I've got them cooking in here. Yeah, big onions, but I like onions. And yeah, I've never cooked elk before. Um, I've never made burgers before, like my own burgers. So yeah, I just put some salt, pepper, and paprika in it and the onions and we'll see how it turns out. Trying something new. Okay, we're gonna do <laughs> some yellowfoot chanterelles. They're also wild from the west coast. And I'm gonna do a little rinse because these still have some mulch on them. And then piece them up with my hands and put them in a pan to kind of dry the water out. You don't add any oil yet. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of, I got some goat butter. Um, a little bit of goat butter, some garlic, salt, and then I'm gonna put these on top of the burgers. Okay, my elk burger with chanterelle mushrooms and microgreens. Ah, let's taste it. I feel a lot better when I'm not eating uh, tomatoes and nightshades and things like that, which are 
histamine producing foods. Um, so we're not gonna add any tomatoes or ketchup. Also, I haven't been eating ketchup. Oh wow, the burgers cooked pretty well. I probably could have even cooked it less. Um, so I, was, I think I might add a little bit of mustard or mayo to this, depending on the flavor, but let's try it. Mmm. That's quite lean. I got lean elk. But with the chanterelles, it adds this like buttery richness to it. And then the onions are really good in it actually. I'm glad I did that. Cause they kind of caramelized in the pan too and I added those on top with the garlic. This is delicious. Mm. <laughs> I'm really proud of myself. I've added a little bit of mustard, organic mustard and organic mayo. And that mustard is like really what's doing it here. And ever since I've been gluten free, sometimes I get gluten free buns and do alternatives, but honestly just taking out whatever the part of it that was gluten or dairy and just eating it regardless is still so delicious. Like I don't miss it. I just finished eating. I'm watching uh, Frank Lloyd Wright in Los Angeles. It's like season nine, episode one of That Far Corner. I just really love architecture and homes and I think in my future I'm meant to either like flip houses if anyone wants to flip houses call me um flip houses or build homes or something along those lines like it just that's what really turns me on is homes and houses I mean I think a lot of things turn me on but yes I am going to book my flights from Kelowna to Cairo and I haven't really talked about it much on the vlog but I am going to go to Cairo. I This house is a vacation rental on VRBO. And so I have a couple coming in and they booked it from February 18th to, into April. So <laughs> I can't live here, which was a good thing for me. Like I could have blocked it off and I could have been like, I'll live here. Uh, but this feels quite temporary, just a time for me to like cleanse and unwind and relax and then make the next plan. It's also a time when my O1 visa is expiring, so I'm having to renew that for the United States. So while I renew my O1 visa, my friend Sabrina invited me to come and live with her in Cairo and then I'm gonna bop around Egypt and the Middle East. And then also I'm really interested in going to Ethiopia. And this is all just like heart pings and saying yes to invitations. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I keep looking at the flights <laughs> and if they don't feel good, I'm like so against booking them. I don't know if you guys ever feel that way. And so then I just procrastinate it. I'm like, no, this doesn't feel right. Like this takes way too long. It has too many stops, whatever it is. But every time I look, it's like when you go back to the, when you look back in the fridge, every time you open the fridge, you're just waiting for your, like your pickiness to go down so that you'll find something to eat. And I'm like, that's what happens with this. But every time someone removes something from the fridge, every time I look at flights, like there's one less flight to look at. So I just need to book it and the like prices go up. But I'm typically someone that books the night before, which is not it. Cause I end up paying for that and not always getting the best flight. So I'm gonna book my flights right now. I've got my credit card. I'm gonna review this while I <laughs> while I book these, and then yeah, off to Cairo. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to subscribe, spank that thumbs up, and leave me a comment down below. Any time you interact and engage with my videos, it really helps the channel. And especially because I'm shifting from a purely gaming focused channel into a vlog channel with content like this, I need your help to find new people that are gonna be interested in this type of video. So everything you do really does help and support the channel and I appreciate it. I love you, I'll see you in the next video.